Hello everyone, this is Suraj here. Welcome you all to my channel. So today we will see how to create one AWS EC2 instance and how to access that instance. Okay, so for that first of all we will go to one web browser and we will search for AWS Management Console and we will click on this link AWS Management Console login and we will log in to my AWS account. Okay. So here you can see sign in as an IAM user. Okay. So otherwise you can uh, use the root user email also to sign into your AWS account. So I will prefer to go with IAM user. Okay. So I will put the account alias for my account. And now the username and now the password. And now it is asking for multi-factor authentication code and I will put that for my Google Authenticator. Okay. Yes, it is opened now and you can see the Mumbai region is selected here. That is AP South 1. Okay. Now I will search for EC2 and click on this one. And now EC2 dashboard should get opened. Okay, so here you can see it is still loading. Yes, I will click on instances, and all instances are loading. And we will click on launch instances to create one uh, new EC2 instance. I will choose this Amazon Linux to AMI that is first. We have to choose one AMI, okay. And this is free tier eligible, so I will choose this one only. We will select this, and now we have to choose the instance. What type of instance it is? It is T2 or micro type, okay. This is the type of the instance which we are going to launch, okay. This is free tier eligible, so I will continue with this, and now uh, configure instance details. So I will leave it as it is, I will not change anything in this page. Okay, and the number of instance should be one for now. And we'll add a storage. So you can see 8 GB EBS volume is attached with this EC2 instance. And delete on termination is also enabled by default. So that means if it is enabled, the delete on termination option, that means if the EC2 instance gets terminated, then the data within this EBS volume will also be deleted. Okay, so that's it and next i will add tag so i will add one tag that is name name should be first ec2 configure security group okay so here i will create one security group that is my sg and i will describe this like this is my security group right you can see one inbound rule is specified okay i will delete this and we we'll define the inbound and outbound outbound rule later and we'll show you in this video okay so again i will click on review and launch and we'll click on launch now here you can see now we are asked to create a new key pair okay now what is key pair a key pair consists of a public key that aws stores and a private key file that you store means the user store that means the public key is stored within aws or you can say within the ec2 instance and the private key always stay with the user okay so for the sake of simplicity i will create one so name should be like my key okay so my key so i will download this my key dot pm file it should be pm file here you can see this is dot pm file okay i will download this key pair and we'll launch the instance right we'll click on launch instance now it will get launched i will click on view instances here you can see it is in pending state okay so till then we will go to the security group steps and we'll see and we'll modify the security group we have created okay we'll click on security group this is our security group that that is my sg and we'll click on this we'll go to inbound rule and we'll edit inbound rule 
so we'll add one rule so the rule should be ssh so using ssh or using port 22 of ec2 instance we will connect to that instance from any network any network means 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 that means any network from anywhere we can connect to this ec2 instance through the port 22 okay so we'll save rule and now we will go to the outbound rule In the outbound rule you can see all traffic are allowed from ec2 instance to any network okay 0000, 0, 0, 0 means any network and all traffic using all traffic ec2 can communicate to any network okay that's it for the security group and again now i will click on instances let's check whether it is running or not yes you can see it is running and the status check is still initializing okay so we have to wait till the status gets uh, checked two by two passed means two times health check will be uh, done and if the if the health check passes two times then it will be run in running state okay so yes two by two checks passed means two times health check has happened and it has passed okay so i'll click this and here you can see one public ip is there one private ip is there and one public dns is there okay so we can connect to this ec2 instance using defined methods so first the easiest method i will show you like select this and click on connect and the username is ec2 hyphen user this is the default user okay for any ec2 instance so we'll click on connect so this is the easiest way to connect to an ec2 ec2 instance and it will uh, open another tab in this browser okay so here you can write pwd okay slash home slash ec2 user so df hyphen h to see the file system utilization let's create one file demo.txt okay so ls now yes you can see demo.txt file is created okay so now i'll exit from this tab and i will try to connect this instance connect to this instance using the public ip address using another ssh client okay so for that we have to go here yes you can see my key dot pim file is there okay so here i will right click here and we will go to one ssh client that is mobile extreme terminal i will open the terminal here and we will ls we will check yes ls hyphen l you can see the permission for mykey.pim for this file is read write and execute Ex uh, uh, permission is there okay so we have to give only read permission so ch mode 400 pim right so now ls hyphen l yes you can see only read access is there okay so i will clear this page so now to connect to this instance what we need to do we need to ssh into this uh, ec2 instance so ssh hyphen i mikey dot pim ec2 hyphen user the username at the rate the public ip address of the ec2 instance right so let's see, check whether it is getting connected or not yes you can see it is now connected so pwd yes this is now ls hyphen l yes you can see demo.txt this file we just have created using um, uh, the connect button in the browser right so through mobile extra also we can connect to this ec2 instance now we will exit from here okay we'll close this one and another way we can do is using putty okay but putty does not support actually dot pm file it supports ppk file okay so first of all we have to make this pim file to ppk file okay so for that i will use putty gen so i will load the pim file here i will do this all file i will load this pim file and i will save this save the private key not public key okay because private key always stay with the user i will save this here i will give this my key 
dot ppk right so save here yes you can see so i will open putty ssh auth we load the ppk file okay so now it will be the host name will be ec2 hyphen user at the rate the public ip of the ec2 instance right so let's check whether it is getting connected or not accept yes it's now connected so pwd ls hyphen l yes now you can see the same file we have created that means using putty also we can connect to the ec2 instance right so let's check df hyphen h yes you can see this is the ebs volume of size 8 gb okay and 19 percent is used and rest are available okay so these are the ways we can connect to an ec2 instance after creating in in aws okay so that's it for now today and we'll see you in next video so and uh, if you really like this video kindly like share subscribe thank you bye bye